Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here, and I'm coming to you from the future, actually. Uh, this is a preview playthrough of Quantum Break. I say that I'm coming from the future because I've recorded this intro after recording my first reactions to the gameplay I'm about to show you. But thinking about it now, actually, I guess I'm Christopher Odd from the past to you guys. It's a little bit of a conundrum, I guess, that we have on our hands here. Uh, for this pre-release preview, we'll be picking up in Act 1, Scene 2, and I'll be able to show you a good chunk of the early part of the game. Uh, you'll be seeing my first reactions to everything, and the basic premise for Quantum Break is that time has essentially been broken. Uh, there's been a fracture in time caused by a time travel experiment gone wrong. Most people, though, are unaware of the imminent disaster that that causes, but Jack Joyce... He is not one of those people, and that's actually where we come in. We play as Jack, and we're trying to find a way to prevent the fracture from reaching its conclusion. The problem is, is our best friend, Paul Serene, and a ruthless megacorporation called Monarch Solutions have their own plans, and we have to stop them. So, there's another really intriguing aspect about Quantum Break uh, that I just recently learned about. And there's basically a live-action show that takes place within the game, and it takes place from the antagonist's point of view. And the way that the live-action stuff plays out is based on the decisions that we make when we're playing. So, really interested to see how that shakes down. Uh, before we get going, and this is more for the new viewers to the channel, uh, I just want to say, like, I really love narrative and story-driven games. Uh, I enjoy exploring, I like to read anything that we can find that flushes out the backstory, and just, I like to just get immersed into the world that's around us. Uh, so, from everything I've heard, Quantum Break's gonna provide a pretty great platform for that. Uh, just before we get going here, Quantum Break is being developed by Remedy Entertainment. They did uh, Alan Wake, Max Payne, and a couple of other things, and it's being published by Microsoft. So I want to thank both of those guys for allowing me to show you some of this game before its release on April 5th. Uh, it is releasing for both the Xbox One and the PC. I'm on the Xbox One right now, but if I can try the PC version before it releases, I'll be sure to check that out as well. So, let's set the vibe, shall we? Lights off, headphones on, volume up. This is Quantum Break. Wow. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! What is going on? Jack, you just, what just, go this way, move. That was the first time my power started to manifest, an out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it, it must have altered your relationship. One minute Earth. after fracture in time. What I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. This is wild. Time is an egg, and that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. So that must be that right help. before. I'll get it open. That must be. Okay, so it's probably 420 now when they were supposed to cut his his access based on that email we saw earlier. HQ, securing the Will. server. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out of You. Oh. They heard something. We are on this side. 
we sure you didn't head back up to the lab? You could have gone back and tried to take the surface elevator out of there. This doesn't make any sense. There. How? Orders are to keep Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? To flush him out. They're looking for him. They keep seeing he. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. And they wouldn't be looking for My me, mess. I don't think. Do you even? Whoa. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what? That's so close. <laughs> you have no context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's a pretty goddamn person. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. I mean, he's not the one who got us involved, really. But I guess, like, because of the work that he's done, you know, that is indirectly why we're here. We got more information here? Let's see. Okay. So this is to James Ness. I don't know who that is. But she's saying, Hey James, Paul Serene just had me go through every step of activating the machine in detail with him over three hours. Do you have any idea what's going on with Project Promenade? Do you think he's replacing us? And what about Dr. Joyce? All that stuff he said about how we won't be able to stabilize the Cronon field. What if he was right about the miscalculations? I know he comes across as a crank, but he came up with a lot of the research we're now building on. I don't understand the implications if there is an error, but Joyce seemed to think it was serious business. Also, I tried to look up an overview of the figures today, but all the files that have been locked out by somebody named Martin Hatch. Martin Hatch again, we're seeing this name, from Monarch Solutions. I know they put some money into this project, but do you seriously... Do they seriously have that much authority over us? I'm so confused. So the mega corporation, Monarch Solutions, um, who's got their hand in pretty much everything. This seems to be the one area that they don't have full control over, but maybe they have a little bit more than time is only gonna what get we worse. know. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. Whoa. Look at this. We got choppers, we got vans. Yeah, we gotta go. No more protest. What's their chopper waiting for? Pick up? You're better at the door thing. You got that right. Oh! Will, get out! Oh God. Target's armed! Opening fire! Oh yeah! Okay, here we go. Oh, I like that! Stay down. Put down the gun, Joyce! How many have we got in here? And stop fucking shooting at him. That'll do. God damn it. That is awesome. Oh <laughs> wow. Will, are I'm you in. Okay? I think so. But Jack, that was I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I've yeah, been clearly. In a tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. We hit, we've been learning a little bit about how we've gotten in some trouble in the past. And like, it's been like, it's been a lot of trouble. I don't know to what extent, but... We've seen a few references to it. In discussions with, here. uh, Serene. Paul was positive that the experiment would work. That the figures were correct. Because his specialists were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Their formulas were missing these variables entirely. You're seriously making corrections right now? <laughs> well, if they made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. I mean, you got a point. You just need initiated a quantum ripple. Watch the next episode of the show to see the consequence of your action. So that has to do with the live action thing. I don't know what that's about yet, but that's cool. Okay. And, uh, we saw in that last email, he did try to warn them, it sounds like, but they're- everybody kind of not writes good. them off as being a little crazy. It's not good. There's the Got elevator to the lobby. It's coming 
down. Hide. Oh. You tell me. They're a little power hungry. They're skittish. Where is he? Hey, the other choice is here too. We got more. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, what is that? What was that? Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. Yeah, they do. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. What's this? Charlie Wincott to Liam Burke. Let's start at the bottom here. Oh my god, this is a long one. But this is important. One second, this is important. Okay, let's start from the top here. So this is to Camilla Walkwater, Gary Van Horn, Jordan Einhorn, Tommy Zelasti, Rita Everest, Thelma Luis, Abraham Robinson from Amy Ferrero? Library protest info. There's a bunch of things we need to do before the protest. Oh, okay, so this is like to the protesters to get ready. We only have a few days before it's happening and we're not remotely ready, so we gotta hustle if we're gonna make this work. Unless somebody protests, I'm gonna be coordinating things. Uh, because right now we're, co we're running around like headless chickens here, and this is gonna be a disaster if we don't get our act together. If somebody else wants to do this, let me know. So before the protest, we'll do a quick summary here. We need banners and signs, make extra ones, we can hand them out, we can't have too many. First aid, we need to have some kind of first aid ready. I think we've got plenty of supplies, we need something... We've got about $300 we can use for this, so let's get plenty of water bottles. We need a press release, we'll send a rough draft along tomorrow. Uh, Jordan, I know you're, you've got those media contacts, so if you have to ta the time to talk about it and sex it up is required, so we can get maximum, maximum exposure, that'd be awesome. We need posters, obviously. We need a university liaison. Uh, we need to keep Riverport U calm. And I'm guessing... Let's see, the good news is actually... The one thing I feel we've got completely under control, Thelma's been talking to them from the start. So if anybody gets any static from the university rep, don't argue and just don't escalate, just call Thelma. Transport, uh, we nominate Gary because he's got an SUV and he's built like a brick shithouse. <laughs> It'd be great if somebody could swing by and get the banners and signs from Rita and Tommy. During the protest, we all know how the actual protest is going to go, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll have speeches and whatnot, some chants, the usual thing. Jordan's going to take care of the, all the on-stage stuff. Um, somebody wants to speak, whatever, Thelma's in charge of that. There's a thing I really want to be clear about, we need to keep this peaceful. The last thing we need is to give Monarch an excuse to start anything. This is all about public image, they're gonna do what they're gonna do with the library, and unless the university steps in, the building's going down. So, sh so, whoever wrote this, knows that this is gonna happen anyways. We all know that. All I'm, I'm hoping we can stop that, but even if we can't, we can make people realize that Monarch is what Monarch is doing to Riverport. The only, or that only works if we look like reasonable people and they look like, well, the corporate assholes they are. Camilla, you've done that kind of thing before, so I trust you to keep an eye on everything. It'll be tricky because Campus Security is a subsidiary of Monarch, so if there's a problem, I don't know if it's going to be in their best interest to actually do their job properly. And we did run into security guard uh, previously who didn't admit that he was a security guard, but based on our rough past, we were able to discern, like, yeah, your security, we could smell that kind of thing. Uh, to complicate things, people are going to get wasted. I know we're saying they shouldn't, but we can't really stop it. All we can do is try to steer people uh, who get too drunk out of there. And please, guys, everybody organize this has to have their heads on straight. It will turn into a giant mess. I added the word giant. Camilla, that's on you too. I know you've got your own crew, and I trust you to handle that. But if you feel you need a hand, ask anybody. We'll drop whatever we're doing and help you out. Everybody do what Camilla says. Uh, I guess that's everything for now. We can do this. Got us. Okay, cool. So let's just go to the very top and see what the reply is. So we put a lot of thought into this. So Charlie replies... T or he's forwarding this. Oh, okay. Sends this to Burke, who is the security guard that we actually ran into. Oh, this makes sense now. 
I was looking for key people among these protesters in case we need to get some leverage. It's a bit of a crapshoot. It's not like they have an official website or an org chart or something, but one of them had her email address on the poster, so I took a look at her inbox. Totally a great use of my time and expertise, by the way. These people are so interesting and not at all boring me to death. This Amy Ferrero seems to be in charge. It's not like there's a real chain of command. I think she's the girl that we met earlier as well. Um, running with the signs. So if we're gonna grab somebody, we can spin things later on, she'd be the one. Okay. She's got family we can lean on if we want to go that way. Check out the email below. There's some other names and intel in there you might find useful if we need to contain this. God, okay, these guys are like, powerful. Uh, now go on with your bad self and get ready to, I don't know, do whatever it is the manly types do before conducting an illegal clandestine paramilitary operation. Illegal clandestine paramilitary operation. Lift weights, arm wrestles, smear some camel paint on each other's faces. Is that a thing? Okay. Wow. So, that's a bit of a problem. So they knew about this protest the whole time. Look at it out there. Oh, look, we've got the chopper. They're still bringing in more vehicles. That's crazy. Okay, let's go. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just... just Why? What's in the way. car? Like... Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay... Oh, that's good. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Oh, there's oh. more! Okay. It's happening again. Well... What? So we can't control this right now. This is just happening. What is this now? Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. What? Even if the world was what? still frozen. Stutter. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Oh, we can take their weapons from them. Oh, we're just grabbing ammo when we walk by them. That's crazy! Super helpful. Now this is from Liam Burke to Monarch Prowler Squad. We don't want to be here when the University collapses. operation. I know, but this stuff's important! I'm going to be working in conjunction with Prowler Squad for the duration of this operation. Martin Hatch assures me that you already know your roles, but I'm sending this list to make sure that you understand the roles of the squads you will be potentially assisting if the operation does not go according to plan. There's no room for error on this one. Bandit Squad. Establish and enforce perimeter around University. Ensure quick arrival and departure of Extraction Squad and Corps. Prowler Squad. Move all civilians beyond viewing distance of Extraction Operation using cover story supplied. Contingency plan. If Operation Let's goes go. hot, then apprehend any witnesses of extraction operation. Raider Squad, infiltrate physics lab, block all exits, apprehend Jack and William Joyce if possible, eliminate if not, assist extraction squad in removing core from time machine. Remove core from time machine, this is the extraction squad. Lower core and wheel to extraction truck, contingency plan. If operation goes hot, then extract core via helicopter, deliver core to ground zero. Wait for instructions on final transport to Monarch Tower. Striker Squad remain in underground parking garage as a last resort containment measure. Now this is crazy because October 8th is when he sent this and we're October 9th at 4.20 something in the morning. We're after 4.20 a.m. And these guys, these Monarch guys are dabbling in this time manipulation stuff as well. So they knew that this was all going to happen and I know that they knew that because they're talking about Jack and William Joyce but that was not mentioned in just the... Like, they're not here for the protest, they came for us, is what I'm trying to say. And that is freaking crazy. So... Okay, let's... Let's... Where's your car? I'm just gonna take all these weapons. This way. Look at this, everything's frozen. It's not just like an area, it's like... Everything. What 
the hell? Oh, this is the girl. On my way here. What are you doing? She's the one who thought we were coming here for a booty call. And I'm assuming the organizer of the protest. She's not in freezing. It worked on What? You. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Chronon, I'm guessing, like, the blast God that happened? Damn, they I'm also wondering if the- because the monarch guy is touching her, if that has something to do with it. Because he kind of, like, shimmered there a bit. I don't know if it means anything, but... They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. Yeah, they are. So this is- I- I- th I think they caused all of this. Isn't this, uh, I think that's the Burke guy. We can get to the parking lot through the ledge hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was gonna happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Beth Wilder? Who the hell is Beth Wilder? Through this door. Jeez. Okay, so those are called stutters? When it just freezes oh, like that? No, no. Oh look, oh, Alan Wake. They're patrolling the parking lot. Oh god, that's it's okay. Okay, Will. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you <laughs> sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Okay, so hold on. Look at this. This is our second reference to Alan Wake that we've seen. We saw like a uh, like a live video before, and now this. Hero's journey, departure, initiation, return. Supernatural, psychological, is he a madman? The loophole, a shoebox, the safe. Only place that can't be altered. Child's fear of symbol, a symbol of safety. Alan Wake, <laughs> love this guy's stuff. Oh, so he's a writer in this world, too. That's crazy. Thomas Zane, the poet. Deeper, deeper. By turning his back to Dr. Dr. Hartman's diagnosis, he accepts the reality of Supernatural, ascend to become the hero, or turns his back to the reality and embrace the madness. Descend. Deep waters of the writer's subconscious mind. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. Killian Blake's Auguries of Innocence. Or William Blake's Augury of Innocence. Endless Night. Birth of the Savior. 95% of our universe who made our world. This is crazy. I like that. I want to just check up here I don't know who these people are Maybe professors or something I know we should be moving here, but like, that's... You see Alan Wake, come on. Here, you'll need the keys. Okay, you stay hey, put. Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. It's gonna be fine. Press Y to activate time vision to locate enemies, hazards, and items. Time vision deactivates when you move. What the hell? <laughs> Whoa! My powers were growing. Okay. I started to sense things. Premonitions. Echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. You got a plate number? It's coming. <laughs> it's probably Boron or Neutron or some shit. We got contact! I should have just taken it. Yeah, we are. Oh, 
different fucking weapon. You had to pick this. Oh, hello. All right, where's your car, Will? The pistol feels great. Okay, it shows us like all the guns on the ground. You can switch back to the SMG. More weapons. Ammo. Okay, cool. Can you use that like multiple times? I guess so. It's just ammo that they've left around. We're using it against them. Oh. I could see an echo of the past. Oh, cool. Will, arriving at the university. What the hell? I hope to God I'm not too late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. Crazy. Can we do it again? I hope to God I'm not too late. There we yeah. go. <laughs> I hope to God I'm not too late. That's wild. No, no, no! Oh, shit! Press RB to stop, or to cast a time stop. Something Whoa. clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. So, since that explosion, we're like developing these things as we go. Fuck. They're coming from right here. I gotta get back. Okay, so I tap swear it. To God, if you help. I think we cast it like on the truck there. Shoot at a, st a time stop to stack your bullets for extra damage. Oh, cool. What? Looks like it's like charging. Can't see anything. That's wild. Oh, we can switch. Seriously. That's oh, hello. That is so crazy that we can do that. Change of plans. Screw the car. I need to get to Will. He's in trouble. We're going back in. Going back in. Oh. Where is he? Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. She's with Monarch. Why are you helping me? You're with them. Yeah. It's more complicated than... Oh, that's... Her name's Beth. Beth Wilder? Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yes. Yes. That is cool. 